Hey y'all, The Walking Dude here. I wanted to bring everybody on for like the very last piece of equipment that I'm doing so I can show you guys what I did uh, throughout the equipment process. I got, I was all kinds of shit I was crafting. But anyways, some of these are really hard to work with, right? Um, so we're gonna do Sizzly Puff, right? That makes the metal easier to work with. And as you can see, you can do it more than once too. So you can raise the temperature and it's, it'll be even easier to work with it. Big thing is just watching and making sure that you... Shoot, that was close. That's the only problem with it. Like, if you do Sizzly Puff, you gotta remember it's gonna be a lot easier for it to uh, go over. Here we go. I think we'll get a plus two out of that. Let's see if we can't get a critical out of this. Yep. Well, it was almost, we almost fucked it up, but should be able to get plus two out of this. Nope, plus one. I should have left it the way that it was. Oh, well. Anyway, so all of these right here. So this Swindler Scarf and Swindler Stole really good set for Eric and it also raises the chance of him being able to successfully steal from an enemy all right so um like if you have that skill and you're using it this is what you want and it'll change his appearance too he'll look like a, a an Arabian knight um so we got these these all change appearances the Jolly Broly is a new wand for uh, her that we got plus three. If it's a star, then we got a plus three bet next to it. Um, I'm gonna craft these, but only because I want the only because I want the pearls. I don't really care about reworking anything at this particular point in time. I don't know what made this one so damn hard to do. Should have sizzly puffed it and just hit them all over there. Battle fork. Uh, the swindler stole and the swindler scarf both took a different colored eye. So like I was saying, the uh, the red eyes, the green eyes, blue eyes, so on and so forth. There's also uh, a, a flourish you get that cools down the metal so you can make more minute adjustments instead of bigger adjustments that you'll get later. So, 50 Perfectionist Pearls.
I've been wanting to put this, I've been wanting to rework this thing for a while now. We also got a tough guy tattoo, which also raises strength. All right, so we're definitely gonna want to sizzly puff this thing, because these rings are hard to work with. Fuck yeah, I say that, and then I get a fucking critical. Fuck yeah! Let's praise this bad boy. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, let's hope this doesn't fuck up. Uh, almost got a perfect on it. See, right there is where you would want to cool it down if you had that ability to do it. Yeah, the rings are hard, man. They are hard to fucking get right. As you can see with how, how small the green area is. The fuck? Why did that happen? Fuck yeah, I'll take that, god damn it. I don't know what that is. I forget what that's all about, but it's definitely helping us out. Oh shit, we got perfect! Hell yeah, buddy! I'm glad I did that lightning bash. The reason I like doing the, um... The reason I like doing the accessories is because... You know, more, more, more often than not, you're gonna be using the same accessories for a while.
That was a waste of pearls. <laughs> Alright. Let's save the rest of this stuff. Save the pearls for when we get some... A new glaive and a new set of iron claws for Rab. Maybe... All right, so let's see if our stoles, so as you can see, that one, a lot stronger. This is a plus two. This one, I was only, unfortunately, able to do a plus one. But now he's looking all cool. And he's got an evasion chance and everything. Rab, we didn't make anything for. This is less. So Vondo got the bull whip. A little bit stronger. I was only able to do a plus one, unfortunately. If you got um, if you got people that does status effect attacks like charm and stuff like that, or uh, the the hearts and just you'll you'll know it what it is. Um, you want to make sure their charms up higher. So Savando, you want to make sure he has high charm for all of his status effect attacks. Oh, got a jolly Broly. Bonnie Ban. Magical Might goes down to five. Magical Mending. You know what? Just not that great. What about Veronica? Cute Cap. Magical Might's up. Charm 130. Yeah, we'll go for it. Sounds good. Pretty Penny. It's actually going to drop all of our stats. But if we put her in it, she'll look different. But we're putting the Rotor Serenity back on. And then we made some, uh, let's see here. Utility belt, raises deafness, like, a lot. Tough guy tattoo raises your attack. But as you can see, you lose a lot of charm. So completely up to you all how you want to roll that. But we definitely were able to um, get a whole lot done on the Fun Sides Forge. Now, granted, I was doing that about 25 minutes before I even came on, so that's how long you end up spending there.
is not where I wanted to go. Oh, make sure you come to this place at night if you want to clear off all the enemies so that you can... The Kriller Killer? That's the big uh, scorpion dude that we fought in Galapolis. Uh, so he only comes out at night and he's down on the beach. our journey. We've got a whole hell of a lot of experience at that forge. Not all the equipment was useful, but we got a shit ton of perfectionist pearls and a bunch of equipment. We actually had a lot of materials for it too. We didn't even have to, I, I didn't even have to buy a lot of that stuff. There was only like two items I had to buy. There's our like pal Cervantes. Bucks. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. Thank you, Cervantes. What is this, your lover? We got a skill seed for this guy.
itemized kill. Make sure you get that because there's going to be uh, monsters we're going to want to do uh, that turns them into items. And they're going to be important to have that later on because it's one of the ways to get like a superior weapon and stuff. Can't get in there until we're able to go underneath the ocean. Ugh, where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylph, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! Uh, hmm. oh, the mists are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? Well, wherever we are, somebody didn't come out of here too too well off. And so begins our journey to the bottom of the sea. Mini metal. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but every time we find one of those, I say that the exact same way. What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. So quiet. Whoa! What the hell? Oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh, Lordy, are you a rhyming mermaid? Ah. Uh, uh. oh. Hey! What do you think you're playing at scaring us like that? And there's no need to look so Disappointed to see us. You're a god dang mermaid. I mean, holy crap, you're a god dang mermaid. Hold on. Are you a mermaid? That's strange. You didn't scream or try to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. My name's Michelle. I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It, it's just I thought my car was back and I got all excited. That didn't wow. rhyme. I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway... Who's this Kai you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, In that case, Shell, 
you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the Queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea, where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder... Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiancé, will you take us down to see the Queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. Uh, that sounds like a threat. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? I thought you were gonna rhyme. No. Ha! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I had a sudden urge to stretch my legs. Let me ask you that again. <laughs> if anyone knows the truth about this... Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you. I love saying If you no. could try Fucking to hilarious. find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the south of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman. As ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smouldering emotion. Oh, lordy. <sighs> Getting you a little uh, oh, no, fancy I'm down in the fins. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <laughs> Dude, that, that pool is like three inches deep. Where you go? Oh, okay. I have no clue what you just said, bud. But yes. Man, Jade almost put one upside my temple for me being a punk and saying no. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh man, we got a long way to go. Let's go check out the two islands up there, and then we'll hit the other one on the way, and then we'll come back. At the very least, we can get some resources, add to the monster beach diary. Possibly get some other goodies. Well, 
That was easy. Let's have a what, what, what? Whoa. Mini metal. I'm going to use your bed if you don't mind. anything with it yet. It's also another door down here that we can't do anything with yet either. Stay focused. Up, oh, Veronica. Let the darkness consume you. We'll save that island for later. I'm ready for anything. Hey, <gasps> what? Fabulous.
I jumped on the wrong boat. Let's do this. Don't say I didn't warn you. in beautiful Lonolulu, a seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> Ooh, pals! Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here.
<laughs> look, look! Auntie's here! The show's about to begin! <laughs> Are you all paying attention? Good. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. 
The curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her, a mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear, I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiance aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her. The kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lanalulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Ooh, the mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Run! <laughs> Aloha, friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh, my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, Maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd hate to see you go crazy.